Boise State has one of the toughest quarterbacks in all of college football, maybe even in, in America, in all of football. Hank Bachmeyer is tough as nails, and it's really hard to knock him out of a game. His body will quit before his mind does. He is so tough, and not only is he able to take hits like that, but he's able to make a lot of good throws. Today, we're going to take a look at what makes him so tough and also what makes him such a good quarterback. He takes a bunch of hits, but he also makes a ton of throws that make him a very good quarterback, one that's one of the most dangerous in college football. A combination of a shaky offensive line play and holding on the ball too long resulted in hit and really hit after hit after hit. And Hank Bachmeyer took a beating in his three years so far at Boise State. And you've seen some of that over the years. And Boise State fans will be the first to tell you that he's been hit way too much. And when you look at some of the plays that he's able to make still, you'd be amazed at what he's still capable of doing. Because some of these hits, a lot of guys would just go down. And again, majority of the time, it's going to be the offensive line that is giving him less protection than he'd like, less protection than would be ideal. And that's obviously a problem. You want to get that down. Uh, despite those hits, though, this is a guy who is still willing to be patient with his reads, be patient with his progressions. And when he gets time to throw, he can throw great passes. He can throw dimes. And even if he does get hit, uh, you know, he can throw passes that a lot of quarterbacks can't, especially under pressure. And that's a big thing for him. And, you know, if we're talking about traits on a video game, composure would be 99 and toughness would be 99. It just comes down to if his body can handle it. But as you can see, some of those throws are incomplete because not everybody's going to be able to make a throw when they're given little time. So sometimes it's really just not his fault that he can't get the pass off, but he gives his receivers every chance that he can to get them the football. He tries to put the ball in a good position. He tries to give them plenty of time to make a catch. It just comes down to whether or not he's going to be able to throw. Now, when you look at the offense that he's in last year, he had his lowest sack rate of 5.9%, throwing almost double what he did in previous years. So that's something to look forward to, and it just comes down to durability and whether or not he's able to keep playing because his body has to keep. Now, going back to his freshman year was really where things got bad, and it started right away against Florida State. Here you can see right away you're getting two defensive linemen, uh, one defensive lineman, I should say, and a linebacker coming at, right at him, and he's still able to make throws like this. And this is the kind of stuff that a lot of quarterbacks can't do. You see right away that the center and the guard miscommunicate. The guard is looking outside. The center sees a linebacker coming in, so he tries to pass him off. Well, the problem is that the guard's not looking, so that leaves two guys potentially wide open because the center also whiffs on what he's going to be doing. So that leaves two guys to come and just basically pummel Hank Bachmeyer. And you can see they basically decapitate him. And if you look at his linemen too, they're looking the other way. They don't even see that he just got basically knocked out. But still, look where this ball placement is. This is the kind of stuff that Hank Bachmeyer does that there aren't many quarterbacks that can do this. To take that kind of hit and to put, look at that ball. That's great ball placement. You're not going to find really maybe any quarterbacks that are capable of making a throw like that. To be able you know, to, to make that throw with no pressure, a lot of quarterbacks can do that. But to be able to stay stay in the pocket, and obviously he didn't have a ton of time to make this throw. This is also as a freshman. And given that he has continued to play at this level, you saw the composure early and often. Now, another play, again, the end is going to beat his man. And Hank Bachmeyer is just going to get whiplash here because he's going to get smacked from behind. But again, this is the difference with Hank Bachmeyer. Look where this ball is thrown. It's thrown where only his guy can get it. There's a little room on the sideline, and he's able to fit this in. Just an incredible ball. Again, pressure, getting hit, and still able to play at a high level. To play at an elite level is not easy to do when you're facing that kind of pressure, when you're facing those kinds of hits. A lot of quarterbacks maybe would probably give in or just hurry it up. That's the other thing with Hank Bachmeyer is that He's so patient, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. When you look at what he's able to do when he's getting hit, is probably the big thing that separates him. He is so calm under pressure. He knows at times he's going to get hit, and obviously sometimes it's his fault because he's too patient, but 
pressure doesn't face him. There isn't much that's going to rattle him, and that's huge for a team that has a veteran quarterback because he's seen so many things, he's taken so many hits, that you're not going to get inside his head. This is a guy who refuses to lose. He refuses to let the other team intimidate him. Even if they hit him a bunch of times, he is still going to be able to take hits and make throws like this. You saw that on a consistent basis as a freshman, as a sophomore, and as a junior. And now coming into his senior year, it just, again, comes down to whether or not his body can keep up with his brain because his brain is so tough. He's the He is the toughest quarterback in college football. Nobody else is getting hit this much. Nobody else has seen this much pressure and, and still able to make these kinds of throws and again some of these throws he's getting the ball off and getting hit after but it's still a hit all of these hits add up and obviously that's where the durability comes in but this man is so tough and, and incredibly tough-minded he there's nothing again that phases him there's nothing that can get him rattled and that's huge again for a team to have a quarterback like that that gives you an advantage that most other teams don't have because even if things go wrong, he's fine. Now we can talk about the arm talent too because it's not just the fact that he can get hit and still make throws. When Hank Bachmeyer is given time to throw, he's an incredibly accurate quarterback capable of making some really good throws. We talk about you know the Bryce Youngs and the C.J. Strouds coming into college football, and rightfully so. Those guys are elite. They're very good at throwing the football. But when Hank Bachmeyer is given time to throw, he can make throws, especially on the intermediate level, I think his intermediate passing is maybe his best. Obviously, the short stuff is is pretty easy too, but some of these throws here that we're seeing, they're on the money. They're dots. You're not going to see a ton of quarterbacks that can be this accurate over the middle. I think, uh, you know, maybe the, the velocity on some of these could be a little bit better, but he has a good blend of being able to throw with touch, being able to throw with velocity, and again, this is with a clean pocket. If you let this man throw between three defenders even, he's not going to miss. He has the arm talent, like I said, to be able to make these kinds of throws. And now he has, he has to replace Khalil Shakir. That's going to be a huge weapon to replace. But I have no doubt that he's going to give his guys chances to catch footballs like this. He's going to give them a good ball that's going to be in the numbers or just outside to be able to reach for it. And he's going to lead them in stride. Intermediate passing game is something that's really good in Hank Bachmeyer. He's really good at that. And now he plays in an offense where he's, it's going to be more up tempo. So I'm hoping that a lot of these passes that you see are going to be quicker. You're going to get the ball of his hands quicker. You know, he's probably still going to get hit a good amount unless the offensive line takes a huge step forward. Now, this is still a very talented offensive line, a very good group, but they have to take a step forward. They do have to show some improvement. That's something that they have to work on. If they do that, though, this is a quarterback that's going to show that that helps them a ton. He's, you know, he gets smoked a lot, and that hurts. And really, it comes down to keeping him on the field. But as you can see, when you give this man time to throw, there's really not much that you're going to you know, worry about with Hank Bachmeyer. It just comes down to his physical health because a clean pocket yields plenty of elite throws, throws on the sideline, over the middle, short, deep. Now, the deep ball obviously could use a little bit uh, of help. And some of the uh, patience is great, but it also can hurt him. Some of the times that he's getting hit, he's just too patient in the pocket. And honestly, that's what's going to be a big thing from him. And it's, it's a good and a bad thing because when you get hit as much as he does, most quarterbacks would take off and run. And, and while he is a very capable runner, he more than likely wants to keep the ball in his hands to be able to make a throw. And not a lot of quarterbacks would do that, especially with the hits that he's taken. That's just going to be something that he has to learn a little bit better and work on. You know, sometimes you got to work on things and maybe being less patient at times is going to be a good thing for Boise State and for Hank Bachmeyer. Again, you're not going to get in his head. You are not going to mentally take him out of the game. It's just coming down to physically. And if he's physically healthy, which he was, for most of the year last year he played 12 games for the first time in his career he played 13 the two years previous and if you can keep him 
healthy for a full year and Boise State is able to keep him upright, this is an offense that can reach new heights. This is an offense, even without some of their big-time playmakers, can be one of the most dangerous teams in the country.